system. And we want to welcome Orange County Mayor Jerry Demis. Mayor, always good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for always inviting me to be on the show. So I got to tell you, I heard good reviews at the State of the County address. They said that you were very, the performance was very good. So you've given that, you give a lot of information. How important is it to get, get all that stuff out and say, here's what we're doing, here's where we're going? Well, what it was all about was uh, building a community together. That was the theme. And what I wanted to do was involve every segment of the community, from our seniors to our students, uh, to our business community and the military even and we were able to do that and so I wanted it to be a very natural feel for not just me for but for everyone that attended in the audience. We had talked before we sat in your office about the need to improve transportation that was the one thing that came out of this as well that you want the one cent tax increase which would be in Orange County for for Lynx and for Sunrail as well. We don't have a a lot of options for new multimodal systems of transportation, but the wave of the future is that we have got to do a better job of getting people out of cars and into some type of mass transit systems. The reason why people don't take our local bus system is it's not convenient for them. So in order to make it more convenient, we have to increase connectivity. We have to increase the frequency of our buses uh, running throughout the uh, community. And so in order to do that, that's going to cost some money. We'll likely look at uh, dedicated bus rapid transit lanes where buses will move uh, uh, throughout the community. For the last several years, Lynx has seen a uh, decline year over year in terms of ridership. And so we know that ridership alone cannot pay for the type of services that we really need as a community but every day people feel the pain of the congestion that we see on our roadways and so I hear it uh, almost every day from our constituents so, mayor what are you going to do about it well we have a plan but we're going to take it to the community get community input and if we are able to pass this uh, all of our municipalities will be able to benefit from it and even the average person. I want the average person to be able to benefit from having a new transportation uh, interconnected system. Hey, and taxes are lower when you compare to Hillsborough County and compared to Seminole County, still lower in Orange County, although you never want to raise taxes. When you put it in comparison, is that one of the arguments we're still lower than some other places? I am not going to raise property taxes during my tenure as, as mayor, but the sales tax is a good way to be able to uh, finance what needs to be done here. Uh, we have the lowest sales tax really in the entire region, one of the lowest in the entire state of Florida, and so there's some money there that I think is on the table. And the good news is that uh, about 50 percent of those who will pay for the sales tax will come from outside of the area, the tourists and others who come to visit here. So I feel like uh, it's a win-win for our citizens. But we're going to take our time, explain the process, explain what we're going to spend the dollars on to our citizens, and get their input before we finalize the plan of action. Were there other options of maybe moving money from here to there? Did you look at those in just wasn't going to be doable based on the money you needed? There's not a lot of options for us. We have many social challenges because of a growing community. We're growing by a net of 1,000 new residents uh, in Orange County alone each week. The region grows by a net of about 1,500 new uh, residents each week. And so with that tremendous growth, it creates pressure. And so with our budget, uh, to meet the needs of some of the social challenges like homelessness and dealing with children's related issues uh, by having this dedicated funding source to support transportation it relieves uh, the pressure on our other uh, buckets of uh, funding uh, for our entire county itself and so that's why I'm kind of an advocate for it I believe this is the right thing to do 